In this video, we're going to learn how to use Jamboard to take a math exam, and possibly some other teachers might use this once they see this video. This is a way that you can show your math teacher exactly how you've done the problems. You're going to use your finger, you're going to use your laptop, and I will be using a Chromebook just like you, so it won't look any different for you than it does for me. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to open this email from Mrs. Beck. And when we open that email, we will get this here, which is Jamboard. It looks like a D and it's orange at the top. And you'll see it says copy of problem solving. Now, so you know, I am on a Chromebook and I'm making these adjustments. The first thing you need to do is change the name to your name so she knows who this is. So we double click that and we can change our name, change copy of. Click OK. All right. Now your math teacher knows that this is your Jamboard. On the tools on the left hand side here, we have a pen, eraser, a select tool, sticky notes, image, and a laser. The laser is if you're presenting, and let's say uh, your teacher's presenting, they can they can click the laser. Now I'm just using my finger, and they can point out stuff. What we want to really use is the pen tool and the eraser. Pen tool has a little tiny arrow next to it. I'm going to bring the pointer there so you can see it. That little arrow, when you click that arrow, it opens up and gives you all these tools. So now you have brushes and highlighters. But for math anyway, we have the pen and then we have these inks. You probably use black most of the time, but in some situations you might want to use a different color. So I'm going to use black. We'll click outside and we're going to go ahead and look at this first problem solve the proportion. If you remember, you set your proportion equal to each other. And so now we have two times three equals x times six, and that's equal to six equals six x. We divide by six, divide by six, and our answer is one equals x. Problem done. Next problem. I click the little button at the top here. You see it says next frame. But I can also click the down arrow here. It'll bring down. I can pull down from the top of the screen, touch that, and I can see all the problems my math teacher has sent me. So I can navigate between the different problems. So I'll choose this problem here, the next one, and same process. If I want to use a different color, I can change the color of my pen. So now I have negative 2 times x, 8, equals 4 times x, so that's negative 16, equals 4x, divide by 4, negative 4 equals x. So there you go. That's done. Just like everything else in Google, it auto saves, so you don't have to worry about saving it. Since Miss Beck, uh, your math, since your math teacher shared it with you, you don't have to share it back or anything. They still have that. If you need to erase, you click the eraser button, and you just go ahead and erase with your finger. And if you haven't want to add a sticky note, and you can go ahead and type in. I can click save. And now I move that around and maybe I put it right there and this, your math teacher will know that, oh, the student needs some help there. Now, if I need to, I can actually put in a photo or if I have a document inside of my Google Drive where it's something I've already done, I can put that in there. In this case, I'm gonna grab this image, select. You can see the image is gonna drop right in here. And now you can show your math teacher how you completed your work. Stay home, save, stay safe, and let's get the math work done.